Hello everybody and welcome to the Coach Joke Show on Coach Joke TV. This is PCBL Week 3 uh, against Blake Trout, as you can see on screen. Look, his name's, his name's right there. It's, it's right, right there, right there, right there. Um, as you can see, we brought Mega Medicham, Needle Queen, Coco, Lucha, Linoon, and Pelipper. With Togekiss, Kaleidol, Mega Venu. Um, Gallade, not Mega Gallade, just normal, which is the first time I've seen that in a long, long, long time in draft. Uh, Heatran and Kiram. Uh, also, this is also, uh, UPC week, I don't even know, week 9, um, against someone I'm not gonna even bother naming, um, because I'm not gonna show that battle, because I'm gonna do a PSA instead. PSA, 1. Don't jaw on opponents. If something comes up, let them know so they can adjust their life instead of sitting at their computer for an hour when they have so many other things to do. Two, don't mouth off to admins, especially when you're a new replacement four days in. And three, don't get sassy when someone calls you out on something that you did wrong. Respect others' time. Don't be that guy that ruins draft leaks. That's all. Public service announcement. Okay, now to the real fun. This is a going to be a good one. Uh, sorry this was up late, by the way, to PCL people. I didn't live com because I think I was eating pie at the time. To be completely honest, I was having a slice of pie. Uh, so I, did, I didn't live com. But we are going to have a fun, 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 fun post-com here, which I have not done in a little while, so let's see how this goes. And I lead... This was a couple days ago. I don't know what I lead. I want to say Needle Queen. Nope. Mega Medicham it is. Ben Zen is here against the Heatran. I believe I go right for the bulk up. Yeah, so I have bulk up Drain Punch, Zen Headbutt, and Thunder Punch, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and miss the Zen Headbutt, just like planned. It's going to get the Reflect up, just like I planned. Now I'm going to hit the Zen Headbutt, no flinch. Instead, I'm going to get crit, just like I planned. So, a good start turned into a not-so-good start here. Uh, we are now going to get out, we're going to go into Pelipper. Um, as he's going to put up a... he's going to do another Psychic, which is only going to do a little bit. I'm going to slow this down. You see, he does have lefties, so this is lefties, dual screen, with Psychic, at the very least, Claydol. Um, as he does put up the second screen, and I would assume at this point it's probably like, oh no, it's lefty, so it's not like clay. Um, that's what we noticed, that is the thing that I wanted to talk about, that I screwed up immediately, because I'm that good at post comps. So I do have the rain up, uh, Scald is going to do a lot of damage, I did Tailwind, um, predicting him to go out into something else. Um, and that was, yeah, that was why that, more or less. Now I'm going to laugh at the Skull thing, maybe he does want to stay. I do get the bear on Karen, which would be very nice if he was physical. Mildly nice if he's special. Um, which we do find out right after this hurricane. Um, which does confuse, which is awesome if he will hit himself in confusion. And we'll see right here. No, he gets the ice cream off. Um, and he does... Was that a crit? No, it wasn't a crit. Um, I don't know why I thought it was a crit. Anyways, we do find out he is a offensive cure, which is fine. Uh, good to know. Um, Pelipper was not max special dev. He was not supposed to live that at all. I'm going to go into line noon thinking I can get this up. Not thinking it was a max offensive cure. Um, but we are going to find out here right now. And that's a specs cure. So my setup didn't work. Um, but as we see, the reflect down ending... Um, at that point, it could have put in a good amount of work, but unfortunately not meant to be. Linoon goes down for no reason. The deli was closed on this day. It was it was no longer noon. In comes the Medicham here. I'm going to go just for that straight Dream Punch. Trying to get a little health back if he stays in, which he does. I thought he might attack it. It was getting a little low. Um, if he was Specs, he probably wasn't going to switch in on anything, etc. So I was able to get some health back there. Didn't overdict and bulk up. As I am wont to do at times with the overpredictions. It's going to go into Claydol now. Um, we're going to play some games here because nothing really wants to come in on Claydol. No, we're not. We're going to go right into Coco. We're going to go right into Coco because I don't think he's going to Earth Power. 
He sets a reflect, which is annoying because this is physical Coco. Also, I believe it was physical Nito, if I remember correctly. So I have all physical attackers left, and he has reflect up. Not great. Yeah, Pelipper is the only special thing in this match, if I remember. I'm going to U-turn off and get a good 18%. That's solid. That's solid, which will reveal that I am uh, attacking Coco and not a special attacker. Going back into this, this is kind of my best thing to deal with this. Um, as we said, the crit psychic only did 55, and I do have Drain Punch. Um, so I'm going to kind of try to stall out Reflect turns here and hit him right at the perfect turns. Uh, I'm going to get the bulk up. Um, a visitor to our battle started saying things and needed to go away. Uh, Psychic goes off. It's only going to do 32. I'm going to bulk up again, or I'm going to Drain Punch. I don't remember which. I'm going to Drain Punch. That is what I said. That is 100% what I said. I'm 100% confident that is what I did. Drain Punch goes off. I get 11% back. That's right. The uh, If I Drain Punch twice, I lived a second, another Psychic. Um, compared to if I bulked up, it was only a roll. Um, so while I wanted to bulk up again, I could not. So I do get the another one Drain Punch off gets me out of range of the Psychic. And I do live on 5, which is wonderful. And I believe now I go for Zen Headbutt, hoping to flinch, basically. Because I needed two attacks to take this out. If I remember correctly. And I do Zen Headbutt, and I do hit, and I get a crit this time. So uh, making up for the miss earlier, Ben Zen is going to go ahead and get that crit here because it knows I'm a good player who needs crits. Um, and I do get the flinch as well, which is kind of what I was going for. So great job, Ben Zen. Um, if he did take me out there, though, Reflect is gone and I could have revenged. Uh, I don't remember what revenged it. Ice Punch Nito? But yes, uh, it did matter for sure. A little bit hacksy. A little bit, even now with the hacks before, but um, was able to play that back. Mine resulted in his death. He's going to go into Gallade now, and I'm going to find out he is Scarf Gallade, and he's going to Earthquake. Which means I really only have one choice. I have to go into Halucha. And I don't. I go into Coco. I don't remember why. There was a reason. Oh, I lived. I lived in Earthquake. That's it. Barely. And then I was going for this... B big boom here, uh, which I do hit on the Venusaur before it even Megas, which would have code that as a supersonic scratch attack off of a Brave Bird, off of a 115 base attack, off of 252 Adamant, I believe. I believe I was Adamant. His speed tiers are a bit weird. Uh, I'm getting a U turn now. Remember, this turn took like forever, and I was really glad I didn't like him because I would have ran out of things to say. So he thought very hard about this one. I'm going to go into the Needle Queen, and now we see why he thought so hard about this one. Because he was ready to proc that Z-move. Uh, so the Needle Queen is going to go down before doing anything. I still believe I, I believe it was Earthquake, Poison Jab, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Fast, Sheer Force, Life Orb. No, it was slow. I switched to slow. Now we're going to go into the Halucha here. The Halucha is here. Halucha is going to go for that setup right here. Um, I was just hoping not to be burned by whatever Fire Move comes out. And it's Lava Plume, which is very risky. And I don't get burnt, which is lovely. Thank you, Mysterio, for playing that game and winning. Getting that Drain Punch, down goes the Heatran, back to almost full. Um, now he's going to go into Togekiss. I do a Poison Jab. Acrobatics does a little bit more, but Poison Jab, well, it does about the same. But Poison Jab has the chance to get the Poison, so that's what I'm going to go for here. In case he was like, he didn't let Speed Me do the Scarf, but... I don't remember what, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I wanted the poison, basically. Either one would have worked. Uh, now I'm going to go, as he gets the lefties, he paralyzes me. So I still have speed, because I see he's not scarf now. Uh, so I just need to not get paired, which I don't, and so I get to take out the tokus. If I got paired there, I believe I might have just lost. Uh, because now Gallade is scarfed, and he can't lock into Earthquake for the Coco. He has to, and I couldn't take out in one hit, I think. Oh no, I could? I don't remember. Anyways, he's going to send a headbutt here, and the para flinch is going to come through with the para. So, smart play to go for the para flinch. Good for him. Good job. Uh, I mean, it could have killed with the acro, so, I you don't know, annoying, but, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, so, now it comes down to this turn right here. Coco versus um, this. So, basically, yeah, Brave Bird killed. Brave Bird killed. So, Brave Bird will kill. 
So the main reason I clicked Z, Bright Purple before, was to not take re Recoil. Bright Purple will kill. Um, I'll take some Recoil. He is faster into Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt will do over 50%. So assuming he so he could there's a few options here. He hits and doesn't flinch and I win with Bright Bird. He hits and flinches and he wins because he hits the if he hits the second Zen headbutt. So I mean then we have the extra hit misses. Um and then if he misses, I win with the Bright Bird as well as if he hits and doesn't flinch. So we've got all those options here. And we will see. We are going to end up with the Zen headbutt hitting and not flinching. Braybird goes off. We get the kill. Take that oh, big old recoil with 18% left. We do pick up the win. Very close battle. All three of our PC level battles have been within a 1 0 score today. Uh, yeah. 1-0 score, uh, we've lost the first two, so we're going to move to 1 and 2 at minus 1 differential. So still, you know, still in the running. I uh, would have loved to have picked up a win in the other ones, but I felt better in this one. I felt like I brought the right things. Um, yeah, I felt good about this one, to be honest. I just, it was there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Um, my team has a lot of modes. Honestly, Pelipper was just here just to have a special attacker instead of going Slurp Buff as well. Although I really thought about, like, the special Double Dance Slurp Buff, by the way. No, I didn't. He tran. I don't know. I didn't really know what to bring up my 6 Mon, to be honest. I really only liked the matchup of 5. Um, yeah, and things went well for me here. Uh, Mega Medicham and Halucha both kind of being able to hit his only resist to psychic as well was pretty cool. Um I don't remember what else I was gonna say. I had something and I don't remember. Either way, this was a very good game that came down to the bravest of birds. Um in the face of flinches, the bravest of birds prevail. Um yeah. Have a nice day, everybody, because Coach Oak said so. I will see you all next time.